Hey guys, John here from HydroEmpire.com and today we're going to talk a little bit about bad habits. Everybody has a bad habit from biting your nails or leaving the fridge open or whatever it is, somebody's going to get on your ass about it and you know what, you should get on your own ass about it. One of the biggest things that I've seen is forgetting things and you know, it's easy to forget things with distractions. My biggest distraction is a cell phone. You know, I've had all kinds of distractions happen to me just because I forget you know, because I'm looking down at a text, somebody calls me, I walk away from my res, I walk away from my, my room, leave the door open, leave a light on, who knows? There's a lot of different things that can go wrong. But so my recommendation for everybody is leave your phone out of the grow room. Another bad distraction that a lot of people have is that they just forget. They forget that they're watering, they do something else, they're multitasking. And when you're doing that, you're gonna forget that you're water, you're filling a reservoir over here and you're feeding over there. The problem with that is, if you're feeding over here and then you get that phone call and you walk away, what happens? Your res is overflowing, you might leave for 24 hours. I had one really bad experience where I walked into a grow and it was a two-story grow. I walked in downstairs and it was literally raining from the, from the ceiling. I walked upstairs and there's two inches of water sitting there and still flowing in. So we all know that you can literally lose a crop by just forgetting and doing one stupid thing. One of my biggest things that I always make sure everybody does have a very secure checklist. This checklist is just like the bathroom checklist at a restaurant. You know, you want to make sure you double check it, sign it so everybody has accountability for what they do. You want to make sure you turn your lights on if they need to be on off if they need to be off, check your timers, check your pumps, and make sure all your doors and windows are closed, and just make sure everything is in order. And that's why we have the checklist. The next thing is cleanliness. A lot of people don't realize that you can bring in bugs, you can bring in molds and all kinds of things on your clothing. So I always recommend changing your clothing. And one of the other things you can do is wear coveralls. You know, the coveralls are great because it literally covers you from head to toe. And if you don't have booties, you know, some of them have booties built in, or you can get booties and even wear a hood because you want to be extra clean. Keep it like a lab. All right, guys, I got a pro tip for you. I always make sure I have a checklist in my grow room. So whenever I'm leaving, I double and triple check it to make sure I've done everything that I can and make sure everything is on or off. Make sure your lights are on and off when they need to be. Make sure your timers are set and make sure everything is on your checklist that needs to get done. And that way you can have a perfect grow.